That's so cool. You look like Mega Mind. Yo. Good morning. Good morning. Colonel's here. Okay. Oh yeah. It's kind of chilly this morning. It is around 7.45 in the morning. It's very calming, it's very peaceful to wake up to this in the morning. There's another helicopter. A couple things I'm looking forward to. I haven't tried military food yet, so I kind of want to try that. We're going to be in a helicopter today. So that'll be really fun. I really want to, I don't know, mess something up because they're liable. We also get flight uniforms. I kind of want to try one on. We also have time to kind of listen to some crazy stories of some of these soldiers and some of these pilots. Excited for that too. Well, Thaggard is here. I'm running late. I'm not even supposed to be recording. Really? That was Katie. He got stuck. That's what she said. <laughs> That's never happened to me. Really? Nope. I think it's because. It's because you're stupid. Yeah. All right, where are we headed? Our first stop was to meet with two-star general David Francis, the commanding general of the U.S. Army Aviation Center of Excellence in Fort Rucker. Did you hear what I just said? He's a freaking two-star general. I just met with the general of the freaking army. He greeted us and then a lieutenant colonel gave us an overview of the base itself. Next, to get ready to fly the actual Black Hawk helicopter, we had to run a bunch of simulations so we don't mess it up. Anybody can learn. So anybody can learn how to fly. Yes. Uh, while you're chit-chatting, I think I'm seeing the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you're spinning. Oh, okay, okay, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. So I'm gonna die. I just need to pull up a little bit. Uh, unusual attitude recovery here. Just level the wings. Level the wings. Well, you're a little. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're good. We're good. The horizon at the. It's funny because the captain actually gave us crash override, but we still managed to die. Either way, we ran out of time and it was time for the real deal. You guys are going to give me your after action review of how your flight went today. What was the best part? Oh, the best part? I mean, the whole experience, like getting up in the air, being able to fly it, talking to the pilot, and just having to explain like some of the controls. Like, it was so cool. So, yeah. well, now I need you to help me tell this story. Sure. Right? Because, I mean, it was pretty cool, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. And now you now you take that experience and know that this is just the entry level here, right? Take so, our aviators, we, we get them qualified in their aircraft, and then we take them out to their units, and they, they learn how to operate that aircraft in combat conditions. So we hope that was beneficial for you. And now we're counting on you to help us tell this story out there to all your followers. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Do you call yourselves influencers? No. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my daughter... And I asked her one day what she wanted to be, and she grew up. She goes, I think I want to be an influencer. I said, a what? <laughs> 14. That Whoa. makes sense. And I said, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you, you just get on there, and they pay you to do things, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, okay. And then and then I heard about you guys coming. I'm like, oh, I guess influencers is influencers. <laughs> 
It's been a long day. I'm sorry I didn't really talk that much throughout the day. We had a jam-packed day. I don't know what kind of content I'm allowed to share because low-key, I'm a liability here. And like, they'll, I'll probably like cancel them or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I think I'm just gonna give a recap of what we did. We were physically on the Blackhawk. Um, Fred actually got to ride the Blackhawk. <laughs> Fred got to, Fred actually got to like control the Blackhawk. So you got to fly it like in the cockpit itself and like he was like controlling and steering it to like where it goes So that was pretty cool It's like a very direct like you go to the simulation you do the thing and then all of a sudden like you're actually flying it in real life I think we, we didn't really take the, the simulation very seriously because we took we told the captain to turn off the, the crash override on so Yeah, the, he crash. the captain turned on crash override so we couldn't crash and then we started doing barrel rolls on the simulator <laughs> And we somehow, I don't know how, I was running through trees. I was fucking just like stepping on the gas and we somehow still crashed. Yeah, we glitched the system somehow. The screen turns red when you die and we somehow still ended up dying. But that was really cool that how we could see like you went from simulation, you go straight to the real thing. And you said it felt kind of like the simulation, right? Yeah. And yeah, it was a really packed day here. We're back in the cabin, ready to get to sleep. It's 10, 10 o'clock PM. Um, we have PT training at, what is it? 05, 0545? We're supposed to meet with the colonel at 5.45 in the morning yes, tomorrow. And then we have training at 0600. I like saying the military. It makes me feel like legit. But it's so cool because uh, they treated us like VIP. We parked in VIP. We flew in, flew like VIP. We walked like VIP. It was like we had like a bunch of bodyguards. And everyone was like ready in position. Everywhere we went, we had like just soldiers in position ready to go. It was really surreal. Those aircrafts are like pretty hefty. I, I, feel, I feel kind of bad. That I feel like we robbed them because like the officer was telling us that each uh, hour that the Blackhawk, uh, I guess, operates in the air is around $5,500 if you calculate all the costs together. So we were up there for probably 45 to 50 minutes. I'm really grateful. It was a really awesome experience. But now we're going to get some rest, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day. We're going to start out with some uh, physical training. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. If this video doesn't get taken down, that makes sense. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Can I say bye? Bye. Okay. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours.